The White House Coronavirus Task Force expects a plan for distributing a COVID-19 vaccine to be submitted by state and local governments this week. It's a critical step to stopping the coronavirus, but one that is fairly complex. Here's medical reporter Liz Bonus. Hey everybody, hello to you. The deadline for each community having its own plan for distribution of one or more vaccines when available is November 1st. And while we don't know yet when a vaccine might be approved, coordinating this effort is critical to the right people getting it at the right time. The White House's Operation Warp Speed put out the request for these plans several weeks ago. The plan includes things like unique cold storage requirements of some of these oh, vaccines. Yeah. Um, the ability to distribute, um, and to some extent, how we will prioritize based on national guidelines. Dr. Steve Fagans is the medical director for one of the largest distribution plans in Ohio. He says drive through clinics for a COVID vaccine are being set up much in the way we now have drive through testing and flu vaccine clinics. The one challenge? We have some complexities because the potential COVID vaccines will have two doses separated by three weeks or four weeks. The anticipated first vaccines, Pfizer or Moderna, um, are both molecular vaccines. We've not had molecular vaccines in this country uh, before, but they theoretically should be much better and much safer. We just haven't had a reason to do that. A system for tracking those shots now also required. If you get one dose of one vaccine, the second dose must be of the same vaccine. Um, and so that 21 or 28 days, there is a reason for that, uh, the booster dose at the, at the second dose. And so a statewide data system that's privacy protected and very compliant um, is very much the next step. Now, we will likely revise these as we get closer to distribution and guidelines are formalized with who should be given the vaccine first, which is likely to be linked to those at higher risk. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.